as our GNU Linux telemetry less leading edge general purpose enhanced security speed well that's what the website tells us and what prelude is as a GNU Linux it's another Linux distribution and as I say on the website if you couldn't tell already it's based on Arch Linux and this is not like an average GNU Linux distribution it tries to be user centric minimize terminal usage and lots of other reading stuff over there that I'm not going to read so they say it's for gaming it's for work for creativity for enterprise for daily life for experimenting for security and privacy and the irony that this is hosted on Google sites isn't lost with me when it comes to telemetry list and privacy who am I to talk about privacy you watching this video on YouTube owned by Google so I'm not going to say anything but what I am going to do is look at this uh, yet another arch based Linux distro I'm actually interested to see what we're going to be presented with and we've got plasma uh, password is live what password is live Is it like exactly as I've got it here? Am I being stupid? <sighs> yeah, I'm... Oh my gosh. It's not password dash is dash live. It's just live. Oh, well, I'm going to keep that in the video. Show you how many human. Well, I, I don't feel very bright right now. Anyway, so we have a KDE Plasma. We welcome to it. Let's just finish that off. And let us fix the resolution. quickly. So, display and monitor. And keep that, okay. And uh, I wonder what's this thing here that says web pivot. Okay, how do we install? Go install. Install system. Okay, wow, that's a colorful uh, version of Calamari's right there. Okay, we're going to go next, go next, go next, erase the disk, swap to file, next. You can guess my name at this point, it's gosh, name of this computer, Azos. Put in a super secure password and use the same password for root and install now. So what I'm going to do in the meantime, I'm going to hang in there while ASOS is installing and I'll come back once it's installed. Okay, that portion is done. Let's restart now. Hit done. This this time. Yep, I knew the password. Woohoo! Okay, let's uh, just close that, reconfigure this thing again. So first I'm going to put it to a dark theme. Second is display 920 by 1080. Let's keep that. Cool. So of course we are using Azos GNU Linux, which is out the box on KDE 527.9 and uh, using the Arch Kernel 6.59. Cool, so all pretty new stuff over there. Um, so first thing, of course, at the bottom, the normal icons, the App Store, or Software Store, Firefox. What is, okay, interestingly enough here, it looks like they've chosen the GNOME, or GNOME, Software Store here which I don't blame them. I'm not a big fan of KEE's uh, one, to be honest. Software repos. Okay, so they it's company enabled for flat packs, enabled and Linder, Linux vendor firmware service. So that's okay. All of these things. Okay, cool. We don't need to really look there. I'm interested to know, what is the Azos web pivot? 
I'm sure I just clicked on this. Did I imagine clicking on it? Maybe. Uh huh. Is this? Search the web without being tracked. Oh, uh, okay. Okay. Right. This is a widget. This is a Taco widget. Really? For privacy? I'll go home. Proton TV? Ah. Well, I can go home. Proton TV, contact us. Um, awesome feedback form on the Google Forms. Irony. Okay, so. Okay. Yeah, I, 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 I'm just trying, like, will this open in a bigger screen or? Wow. Okay, well, <clears throat> we're not going to use that again. Looks like I just crashed my session. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Anyway, it looks like a widget. Whatever. Hey. Yeah, I'm a bit speechless because I, I don't understand the point of point of that widget. Uh, but that's just me, so let me not judge the whole OS on that. Okay, so looking in development, we have Cuttlefish for Icon Viewer, Kate for the text editor, K develop the integrated development environment. Okay, so you can develop if you want to do new projects so you can get some templates so if you want to do a specific application templates here so let's say we want to do python that's the only language something to do with python i just python because i know python or some form of it okay the, the right new project Got a template from file Okay, well, you know what? Apparently, I don't know what I'm doing here. Uh, I don't. But this is literally a development environment you can use, so I'm sure that that's pretty great. I prefer uh, others, but that's uh, no problem having that included here. Classroom Theme Explorer. Right, so you want to edit your themes. And of course, the app crashed. And QT system, QT designer. Okay, cool. Education. Front end to mathematical software. Cantor. Select the back end. Or Python. Okay. I'm going to close that. Uh, deeper math. K algebra mobile. So who doesn't want to graph and do algebra? Oh, that's a pretty cool. Whoa. Anyway, let me close that. Getting sidetracked. Uh, games. It has. It's on Lutris. Okay, this is pretty cool. Lutris pre installed. Uh, this is the flat pack version of Lutris. I'm almost sure of it. Okay, so Lutris. Install that's a nice addition, um, and of course, it also has access to the different wine runners as well. Here, so that that makes it simpler for newer users. Cool, uh, nice addition. That graphics, color paint, Greenview, Ocular, Internet, ah, the web pivot, Firefox. Multimedia, Haruna Media Player. That's Kelly's lightweight media player, isn't it? Ah, yes. Yeah, well, it's at least uses KDE frameworks. Um, okay. I don't have any local files to really play or test this thing with. That's uh, that seem interesting. Although I do wonder why that is included and VLC. I couldn't use one or the other, but 
maybe that's just me and Elisa. OBS Studio pre-included. That's pretty cool. That's really, really, really nice. But they've actually gone ahead and done that. And just for the simple fact of having this available out the box is really nice and a couple of plugins. So that's that's a great, great option. Yeah, and of course, MPV media player. So you have three media players. Four if you want to include Elisa, but okay, that's everything else is so lean. I kind of like wonder why do they do that, but okay. Uh, LibreOffice, let's see which version of LibreOffice. Take it up with the newer version. Ah, seven point seven five seven one. Okay. Office. Okay. Settings. File. System settings. Okay. I don't think five of these were working. And then system software is two parted info center console and utilities. Oh, Clamp TK virus. Okay. It's actually, it's actually running. Scan a directory. My desktop. Okay. Impressive that this actually. I'm glad it's nice to see this joke coming with some form of antivirus protection. Especially if you need to move files between different operating systems. And now no operating system is 100% foolproof against viruses. Okay, we have Sweeper here, System Cleaner, they've added as well. So you can clean up your web browsing and your general usage if you so need to. Wine tricks. Oh, wine tricks and included as well. That's an interesting addition. Why do I say that? Well, I would have expected them to include maybe bottles or something. You know, to manage the different wine installs or create custom wine bottles. Okay. Okay, so of course, string the different wine prefixes. Okay, that's that's all interesting there. And system monitor, 1.6 gigs of memory, used almost 20 gigs of disk space. <coughs> and no CPU usage, just again, we're not actually doing anything. All right. So let's open up a terminal. And I'm interested in the EA, the Paru. No, really? Ah, so this is basically as well. Yes. Yes. Oh, okay. Kind of a bunch of updates, but I'm not gonna Go ahead and reply uh, install them but it looks like they have their own repo the core repo extra community multi-library and the chaotic aur and what is chaotic aur pre-built uh selection of pre-built uh applications from the aur uh repo often used with uh, garuda actually okay so there's that there's a bunch of updates available i'm not going to apply those now no, because I don't think it's going to really change much here. So, I like the theory of what they're trying to do, add some basic applications to make it a bit more user-friendly, but I think it kind of falls a little bit short. If they add it, maybe, you know, uh, as I said, bottles to it as well, alongside Lutris, 
maybe slim down the amount of media players installed. Maybe uh, include one or two things. Something to give this its own identity. Because I kind of feel like, and it happens with so many of these distros, that it's some great work people have put together, uh, but it doesn't feel like it has its own identity. Uh, which is pretty sad. So I'm hoping in future that maybe they'll customize it a bit. Maybe give it its own type of uh, wallpaper. Um, you know, or just something to set it apart. Because right now, it basically feels more like Arch Linux, couple of repos added to it, easier to install, and bam, there you go. Which is nothing wrong with that, but um, there's a lot of these out there. And also, really, make this web pivot thing more stable if you're going to keep it. Um, so, yeah, folks. Now, if you want to try it, go ahead, try it. Uh, leave your comments below. Uh, I actually look forward to seeing what other updates or what the future holds uh, for this team to set them a little bit apart. But a uh, uh, good first effort. As always, thanks for watching and goodbye for now. Mm -hmm.